holding on a cigarette He's in disguise deep in the dark And in a mix he knows the mark What's going on, Juicy Vapors? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. Today we are doing a review of an e-juice called Blood Orange by Central Vapor. Uh, this is a 30 to 70 PG VG ratio mix. My particular uh, preference is 3 milligram nicotine by volume. I guess that one's a little too bright so you can get a better view over here. All right, Blood Orange by Central Vapor. Once again, a 30 to 70 PG to VG mix, and my particular nicotine preference is 3 milligram of nicotine by volume. Uh, anybody and everybody who knows me knows my vaping habits. My two major things that I love as far as e-juice flavors are fruit, love fruit, and soda mixes. Uh, all your ginger, lime, cola, Dr. Pepper, all good. Um, I'm excited. I just got this in. I love the flavor. And uh, we're going to go ahead and load up my Rebel 3. My tank is off because I changed the coil. My Rebel 3 by Vaporfy. I'll go ahead and uh, show a picture of it when I'm done. You can see the new coil in there. All right. I did... Um, I got to get used to looking over at this camera. I kind of redid the situation here in the man cave studio room. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm testing out the different look. Hopefully you can see me nice and bright. You can see the background. You can see all my DIY stuff up here. Everything from uh, my uh, mixture of VGPG. So when I make my DIY stuff... And every once in a while, I like to relax and not make a flavor and uh, taste flavors from uh, companies that I thoroughly enjoy. And that includes on the top of the heap, Central Vapors. They're one of my neighbors here in Texas. By the way, if you do like to DIY, head up to centralvapors.com because they do sell DIY product. There's my plug. So let's get back to loading this, huh? I'm excited. I'm excited. I love fruit flavors. I really do. Alright, we'll stop that fill right up here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this upside down. Get that seal going. Hopefully it should be nice and primed. And here you go. Now you can see the Rebel 3 by Vaporfy. Uh, this here has a 300 mAh battery on it. really kicks ass. It really does. Uh, so this is one of my big boy toys that I like to use. It's also very good and handy. There you go. Um, but back to the matter at hand, this e-juice. Let's get rocking. I'm going to take a few uh, suctions through here to further draw the juice through the wick and coil. That uh, helps to reduce that jerk, that jerk, boop, burnt dry fire. Um, if you've seen any one of my videos, and again, I'm going to say it again because I don't know if this is the first video of mine you're seeing, but those few extra steps, taking the inhales, drawing the juice through, I'm rather OCD with my coil, so once I taste a burnt taste, out it goes. Um, and I went through a few boxes when I first started several years ago because I would go ahead and fire it up, and then I'd get that burnt taste, and I just couldn't help but notice that forevermore on that coil past that it was very ugh, to get that flavor out of there so i always ended up cleaning the tank back out changing another coil uh just a tip you know i don't know if you're just now starting vaping or not all right oh right off the bat you can Mm. While we're waiting on that just a little bit, if you've been in culinary or understand culinary at all, um, or if you don't, I'll just explain it. It's okay. It's cool. 
Uh, and yes, I'm an actual, I went through uh, culinary and I've been working in kitchens for a long time before I became disabled. So the things that I share are a lot of knowledge between working in the food industry, vaping, and they kind of go hand in hand. You can throw in gastronomy and chemistry. Uh, baking is a real good uh, comparison because of the measurements, the volumes and measurements, getting that chemistry on the food right before you bake it. And, uh, you know, if you are a person that... Uh, Ooh, it smells good. If you're a person um, that is kind of an aficionado, amateur and, uh, <laughs> aficionado, man, I'm really tongue-tied, bam, um, then uh, you know the experience when you go to a restaurant. First, you see with your eyes. You see the plating, okay? Then you smell, and then you taste, and... It's part of that sensory overload of the experience of the food that determines something that will really be one of your faves, flavors, or whatever. There's no difference in, in, in uh, vaping. Um, so let's say you can't get into a store. And so you can't get a real good uh, look or smell. But you can see it online, right? So they'll give you some views online so you can see it. Uh, but smell is kind of taken out of that equation, um, and you can't really taste it until you get to it. Well, that's what these reviews are about. Um, so I always start off with the small bottle to determine if that's something that I'll like. Try it in a good tank um, and smell it and all that other good stuff. So that's kind of how I do it, um, you know. Uh, unfortunately, there's no shortcut unless you have uh, a, an, affordable, an affordable place local that you can get to. Uh, but I'll tell you what, that's what these reviews are about. Uh, that's why we go through them so that the customer, the end user, the vapor uh, can see these reviews and kind of get a good, uh, a good edge on what they're trying to do. All right. I can keep going for days, so I'll shut my mouth. I know I, I, I blab on a little bit. <laughs> All right. Shall we? And what I'm doing, when you see my mouth doing all that, I'm rolling it around. The reason for that is I want to get all of that flavor in there on my palate, but also I'm beginning to get that, uh, when you vape a few times, to get that taste to trickle down in your throat. The reason we do that, uh, let's say, like, I'll give you an example. I switched several years ago because I had several surgeries. I switched from regular soda to diet soda. The one thing that I noticed right off the bat was the sweetener up front was all right, um, but then as it you know, 10 to 15 to 20 seconds, you could taste that, that, that difference in that, I, you know, whatever you use, sucralose products or stevias or what aspartame, you'd notice the change of taste down there. And a good juice will retain that, that flavor, if you will, so it makes it for a better vape. All right, um, it is as advertised, it really is. You know what, this is, um, it's really blood orange, I, I kid you not. Uh, there's a, 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 a restrained, there's like a nice restrained part of the sweetness, it's not killing me with sweet. Um, When you describe kind of a sweet and sour savory, I'd kind of put this a little more on the savory tart. Tart's a better word. I, I would I would uh, go down that road with that. But really good, though. I mean, literally, it's like you're peeling open a nice, ripe blood orange. Yeah.
there's nothing wrong with this. I ain't mad at it. This is pretty good. It really is. It's pretty good. Um, I'll probably get a little crazy with this later on and uh, maybe try to mix it with something else that I know will go good with an orange. Uh, I will venture to say that this is probably a good juice that you can do that with. Some juices are only decent when they stand alone on their own. This one here you can kind of mix and match, I bet. Uh, maybe with some other um, fruit flavors or something like that. So having said that, once again, Blood Orange. It's got a 30-70 uh, PG to VG mix ratio. My particular, there you go, nicotine habit is third, uh, bleh. Huh. three milligram of nicotine by volume you can get this at central vapor i'm going to put the link in this in the specs down below and while you're down below looking at that if you don't mind please like and subscribe uh trying to get up to a thousand uh followers here on um youtube and when i do that i'm going to do my first giveaway so once again, centralvapors.com, uh, go out and get this blood orange. It, it's pretty righteous. I love it. Uh, and yeah, it, it's not overpowering, but it is taking you to the edge right there, and I like that. Having said that, let's get on out of here. You know how we do it. We're going to take a, a little puffy puff, and then we're going to jig it on out of here. If you have any questions, my email and all the contact information are also down below. Go on to Twitter and find us there, too. Having said that, that. Later. I'm pulling on a cigarette. He's in the skies deep in the dark. And in a mix, he knows the mark.